a little update of my studio. I filmed a studio tour when I just finished this room in the fall 2018 and it wasn't totally finished but I was really excited to share with you the final result after doing it totally on my own and now it's a bit uh, almost uh, two years later not totally one year and a half and I wanted to show you a bit some updates uh, also because in January, at the beginning of each new year, I like to change few things, just, just to change the energy, starting afresh. Uh, it's also for me, usually, uh, the jump into the new year is very often I start new projects in the fall season. Very often I work a lot on my workshops, online workshops, and then in winter I go back to my art and my own projects, my own things. So I'm always super excited about this season. And I usually like to change things a bit, just to refresh a bit the atmosphere and move things around, see how things could work a bit better. And I just like to make this room the most comfortable and the most inspiring as I'm there with my cat very often, most of the time, and uh, it's, it just makes some difference. I'm not showing all the things I've showed in my tour uh, in 2018, what I have in my drawers, all that, because it didn't change, it's all the same. I didn't change anything in my the drawer in my desk or this is all the same but outside I, I organized things differently and I added my sort of table I had in my entrance hall before just to have more space more places to put things on and to hide my mess or that so I'm going to share with you all that to show you that and maybe it's going to inspire you maybe you do that too in your creative space or your studio or where you like to do things 
uh, you change things also a bit at the beginning of the year. I've also put things away, of course. I always try to remove things I didn't finish, I don't want to finish, or which is just taking space. I just clean all that to have more space and uh, more, yeah, more space for new projects. But it's, I didn't change tons of things, but I want to show you a bit, a little update. So this corner is a bit different than it used to be. I added here my uh, table I had in my entrance hall. And I think it works just much better. I can put things on. I added my little drawers I had. So it's mainly things like books, things I'm listening to, reading, and they will probably have very soon a lot of things in progress here. So here it's my uh, Lolita Lump Pickup fragrance. I have the candle. I just like the packaging really mainly. Uh, it doesn't smell for the moment super strong. I will see. I, I just started to have it. But I knew I would keep, the, keep it and refill it with other smells because I just love it and I think it matches the studio really well. So. And under it, I added this. I have a bit of mess. Some different sketchbooks. I have also other sketchbooks and different things uh, in my chest of drawers. And yes, some leftovers of paper. And over there, all my leftovers of cardboard. Those, you saw them. I put all the things I don't know where to put them. They don't have a home. But um, yes, I like to have a bit of mess where I know I will be able to uh, put all my leftovers of foam board, cardboard, paper, things which can't go anywhere. <laughs> and then I need to have them and they're not pretty. So I think they are nice to be hidden over there. And here I just reorganized a bit my, my fireplace, some nice fresh candles which give a nice touch to it. Uh, it's still winter here, I love winter, but I wanted to have a bit more green in my studio. Not on the walls, but in a few accessories and objects and candles are just great for that. And I removed all the things I previously had in my lantern just because I wanted to be able to use them um, as normal lanterns and I didn't need to store all that so I removed a lot of the things I had keep them in another jar and just put some candles so I can use them um, especially during the winter season enjoy them Thing which is really new it's so my curtains were previously in my bedroom they are very old I had them I grabbed them in a flea market in Lyon many years ago and I still have them they, I think they look pretty nice in the studio and I added on top of it some it's a table tablecloth I changed into curtains and you have seen them if you have watched my videos for a while they were previously under my canopy bed which I had in my living room and I just dyed them in green and put them here and I think it looks so nice I'm so happy it has a sort of witch aspect I adore it and I dyed them by hand and it's really not the thing you're supposed to do so the the color didn't spread really regularly on the, the on the fabric this is yes I didn't follow the rules here simply because I live in an old apartment and I can't have my washing machine on for half a day just to dye one uh, tablecloth, an old tablecloth, turn into a curtains. My neighbors would not be very happy about that because the washing machine makes quite, mine at least, makes quite some noise. So, But I'm really happy about it. I think it looks really nice and it gives a sort of witch, magician witch aspect to the window and yes, to the studio. Another thing I found I'm so pleased with is this little chandelier, ceiling chandelier. So I found this one in my brocanteur and there is one pl glass plate which is broken at one place. And he has one or two glass decor which are missing. It's not in crystal, of course, it's in um, glass, but I really love it. And I think it, it just gives this nice castle look. I'm hunting and I'm looking for for my kingdom and I really love it and it just gives a nice reflection in the mirror it's just super super nice and I found it for almost nothing in my brocanteur I found everything for nothing which is super super nice and I was really happy he was taking the best for years in his place so he, he, I think the, the chandelier is quite happy to be here now and on the shelves I have here I previously had some painting I think when I filmed my first two I had that I use it now really for my my small books, my 
old small books and my essays and things like that. Things I really like to have in my studio. I like to be surrounded by and I thought well I need to put them in my bookshelf. I recently found and read this one. I found it at the old bookshop and he has this book for in his window for probably one year and then I realized I really needed this book. Just a cute story, The Life of Dolls, this is the title. And it's just an adorable book about dolls who lives in uh, little girls, Parisian girls in Paris and in their apartments, all that, and they have all sorts of nice adventures happening to them. It's very sweet. It was written, I think, at the beginning of the 20th century, and it's really lovely. And I think it was perfect to have in my collection of old books. So and I really loved it. Who knows? Maybe one day I will be inspired by that to create something. We will see. On this corner, it's my uh, chest of drawers. I have the big uh, carriage I did two years ago. It was already there in my first tour, but it has been sold uh, recently. So it's going to be shipped in its new home uh, this month. And I think it's really happy to have found a home. And in this corner, I just have my ribbons. I put them directly on my radiator because it's not too heavy. Um, a nice old doll which belonged to my grandmother. And yes, that's pretty all. It didn't, nothing really change very much over here. And I have this little cat who is checking what's happening outside. So I leave this wood uh, standing here, standing a table, sort of table uh, for her because this really her corner here, she, she is always there when she's not sleeping on the bed. So here I added my bookshelves there and I think it works so much better because this part here is always where the light is the most beautiful. It's where the light lands really, really well on the wall at every season. I like, just love this light. I think with the wallpaper, it creates some sort of pink shadows. It's super pretty. And I thought it was not necessary to have the bookshelves here, so I put them here and I'm really happy now. It's just nice, well organized and can put things here. So here there's nothing new. I just added my paper at the top and few jars where I store things. I also did a lot of declutter with my leftovers of things I didn't use or started. And yeah, that's what I did. And Clochette also loves to go in the drawers. On my table right now, I cleaned everything. I'm already starting to work on new pieces. I've started to do that at the beginning of the week. I was so excited to be back on my art after a very busy autumn working on workshops and the exhibitions. So I'm just starting to go back working on my art. And I found this super nice uh, handmade paper at my bookshop, new bookshop. What is also nice, it's, so it's handmade and it's brownish. I really love that. It's great to use white, which I adore. It's very soft. The paint, the draw, uh, my pencil, everything reacts totally differently than this one, my just classic, classic soft paper, white paper. And this one is very different. So I really love that. Um, I've already started to uh, draw the characters I'm right, working right now. I'm starting a series of small dollhouses for the children animals. So you're going to see that. I removed a few things I had on my table because I didn't want to show everything in progress before it's a bit more advanced, but you're going to see that in the next vlog next week. Yes, and I really love this paper. I'm excited to continue it. It's just so pretty and so inspiring. I like to touch it. I like, I like paper, so I I'm always interested to have a nice sketchbook that I know I will keep. I keep all my sketchbooks, so I was happy to have this one in my collection. And on this side, I just have a donkey, my donkey page open. I'm working on a child donkey. He's going to be seated in his dollhouse. You're going to see that soon. So I have that. I had a lot of other books open, but I just put them in the bookshelf because it was really messy. I have a Marie Antoinette book I bought at the exhibition of Marie Antoinette last fall and I just it's not really a new book there's not so much new things to learn or anything but I just thought there were one or two pictures I liked um, 
I thought could be inspiring. And here I have my old agenda I had last year and I still have a lot of pages which I didn't use so I'm still using all the pages I didn't use as a an agenda because the, day, the dates don't match this year. It was matching last year but it doesn't match this year. Uh, but I, I still have a lot of nice pages I didn't use so I'm going to use it and this one too. And the scissors, I didn't mention it. All my scissors, I found them uh, at my brocanteur. He had tons and tons of scissors of all kinds and shapes and sizes uh, for all different jobs. Uh, they, they were used by all different sort of people for their jobs. And I bought many of those last a uh, few months ago and I quite like to have them. Some are really nice, some they don't. I need to reshape, resharpen some of them, but they are all really nice and pretty. And as a deco, I'm continuing to fill my walls with uh, characters and writers I really love. So here we have Charles Perrault, Madame de Sévigné. I want to have Madame le Prince de Beaumont and Madame de Lenoir too here on this wall to create a sort of 17th, 18th century corner. Um, yes, that's what I try to fill little by little with uh, specific engravings and illustrations. Here it's all uh, 18th century engravings and I really love them. I think it just gives a nice, I like to have them around me when I'm creating. And here is just an 18th century engraving, La Soirée d'hiver, The Winter Night. And I just love it because there is a fireplace and mirror. It's just facing my fireplace and mirror. And it's just a sort of courtship engraving. I bought it at a, a mysterious secret place where my parents live in the Alps, where you can find all sorts of treasures on this frame. Uh, I found it for five euros <laughs> to give you an idea. And it's an 18th century engraving. Um, so yeah, you can make really great finds where you know where to look for. So I was really happy and I bought many uh, from the same collection. Some were a bit damaged here and there. They had a bit of little problems on their frames, but I thought they all looked super pretty. Thank you very much for watching this little update on my studio. I will come back next week with a more classic vlog and I will have more regular videos like the one I used to do before the Christmas season and the exhibitions. I will be back with all that. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can do it. If you don't want to miss all the nice videos coming, I will also have a video only on my sketchbook and my sketching and sketching as part of my routine as an artist. So this video will come a bit later this winter because I have a lot of questions very often uh, when I show my sketchbooks or that something I've done my entire life. So I will, I will uh, share more about that, this practice and all that in a separated video coming this winter. For now, I will leave you here. You can give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and I will see you very soon 